yes viewers this one is coming from uh, the commissioner for aviation and transportation technology in Ebony State talking about Dr. Ngozi Obichuku. Well, it goes like this Ebony government plans to float airline. The commissioner sounds very optimistic and this is uh, quite adventurous, if you ask me. So, without wasting your time, let's go into the details so you can know what you know the details is all about concerning this uh, you know adventurous plan by Ebony state government so it goes like this Ebony state government has said it will float an airline for effective and uh, easy air transportation in the states the government said it will embark on the airline business after the, the completion of ongoing asphalting of the runway at uh, Choba Okadibu International Airport, Abakaliki. The Commission of Aviation and Transport Technology, Dr. Ngozi Opichuku, who disclosed this to journalists in her office at uh, Omeke, Onoike. Shortly after an inspection tour of the Chobo Kadibo International Airport said by August the airport will be fully functional. She commended Governor Francis Mwefuru, immediate past Governor David Umahi, engineers on site and uh, monitoring heads of departments involved in the project for their cooperation and efforts to see that the airport fully take off she said if you do not blow your trumpet another person will blow it wrongly we are here as a team to tell you what our dear governor is doing on the wrong way of the Weber Falls Choba Okadibo Airport. Well, um, when I'm done, I'm going to just drop some few sentences and some few notes, you know, concerning what we are talking about. Many have been asking questions Are we good to go? Are we able to deliver the road by May, as we promised? With your eyes and your senses, you people have seen what we have done, the extent we have gone. Before the asphalting, we have started, you know, witnessing the coming in of flights. And you know, as I have said before, it is both human and cargo airports. We are good to go in terms of uh, exporting our food. Ebony State is good with production. We can export our rice. We can export our gare and even our salt. We will package it in a way that is acceptable and packaged it out. We are at the center of attraction as Southeast is concerned, those of them that are coming from Abia, Enugu, Anambra, and even part of uh, Cross River will be landing here. Those of them that are traveling from outside will be landing here. It will not only be a beehive of activities, but an economic hub of the Southeast because many people will benefit from here. Well, uh, that sounds very ambitious. Why I said it sounds very ambitious is that, you know, following the facts of uh, what is happening in Nigeria today, Nigeria cannot even sponsor their own airline. They are having issues with that. They nearly took off and an issue came up just like that. Well, I don't know for now if the Nigerian Airways is functional 
but I doubt it. Well, a Bonyi state must not be the way Nigeria Airways function. They can say to hell and they will ensure that uh, their airport, their airline is fully functional. Though, let's look at it critically. Well, like I said, they sound very ambitious. And um, do you think that the airport in a boy state can be that beehive of activities? Or will it just end up in government spending some few naira up and down and later the whole thing crumbles? It's better to avoid anything that will bring economic waste anywhere now than to double into something that uh, we not see the light of the day. I would have um, I would have asked and I would have preferred if I should say or if I should have that right to talk in that regards though talk is free people can comment on events and things that are happening. They would have approached Airpiece and uh, the other airline from Anambra or any other airline to see the possibilities of using Abakeleke Airport and Chobo Karibo Airport. Test it out with them. If it is viable enough for the government to spend huge amount of money in uh, maintaining aircraft, then they are good to go. But if they decide that they want to go straight into spending money in this, well, they know the best and what is good for the state. But economic waste should be avoided in this time of, you know, the tribulations that uh, the country is passing through now and not to venture into something that will not see the light of the day. Well, this is Younger Life channel, and uh, if you have not subscribed to this channel, please click on the subscription button, notification bell, and uh, like this video. Please don't forget to share this video. We need to get more reactions to this. Southeast is Southeast, wherever you are coming from, Imo, Anambra, Abia, Ebonyi, and... Uh, uh, Enugu State. We are all Southeast. And the uh, Southeast is a part of Nigeria. Nigeria as a whole, you are welcome to Yanga Life Channel. So let's hear what you think about uh, our discussion. And uh, please, you know, make it uh, brief and uh, straight to the point. Thank you as you do that. I still remain Chinedu, your presenter. Let's go to the comment section.